Notice. Our courses are taught in English. If you want to see subtitles in other languages, first, we open the subtitles closed captions at the bottom right of the video. Then click setting and select subtitles CC and click auto translate. Now you can choose your preferred language from the list. Hello everyone. Today we will introduce the main easily damaged parts on the hash board of Antminer S19+. The first chip is an ASIC chip, BM1398. If this chip is damaged, the hash board will have low or zero hash rate. These four chips are MOS tubes, they are TPHR 9003 NL chips. If the MOS tubes are damaged, the power supply will not be able to supply power to the following ASIC chips through the MOS tubes. This chip with 7 pins on each side is a PIC chip. Once the PIC chip is damaged, the input voltage cannot be controlled to meet the conduction condition of the MOS tubes. These two chips are signal conversion chips. After they are damaged, the control board will not receive the signal they send back. The chip with a total of 8 pins is a temperature sensor chip. If the temperature sensor chip is damaged, the control board will not be able to read the temperature of the ASIC chips, so the hash board will not work. Let's look at this chip. It is 1.8 volt LDO tube. Its damage will affect the voltage of the ASIC chips in this domain, and the ASIC chips will not work properly. It is 1.8 volt LDO tube 2. Its damage will also affect the voltage of the ASIC chip in this domain, and cannot provide 1.8 volt power supply for the chips in this domain. The chips here are PLL 0.8 volt chips. After they are damaged, the operation of the ASIC chip corresponding to this domain will be abnormal. This chip is an EEPROM chip, also namely a memory chip. If the program in the chip, or the chip itself is damaged, the hash board will not be able to run. That's all. Thank you for viewing. If you have any question, please leave a message.